Hello, so um, they just uh, put out a new event for it uh, called Foundations of Power for Tineskin. So I did a video about this earlier when they announced it. Um, we got your login every day event. It has the same, like I said, pretty standard. You get skin stones, um, spend energy. This goes up to 15,000. We've seen other events that are three days, 15,000. Still a lot, but, you know, again, like even if you don't get all the way, you do get some extra skin stones for your Titans. Um, the lower ones don't take a whole lot of energy. But uh, that's quite a few Titan skins. So that's enough to buy a champion skin, a Titan champion skin. 10k. Equivalent to like 400 gold trophies worth of Titan skin stones, in case you're wondering. Um, VIP level, if you're VIP 7, you get to claim all these. Good chunk of Titan skin stones there. Some Titan potions. Uh, summoning circle, oh, only need 50. So if you're in a guild where you're getting your 15 Titan Sears day and you're doing the dungeon every day or whatever... Um, you're probably, this is way easy to get, um, buy emeralds, you get extra emeralds if you buy emeralds, um, not too big of a deal, like, but 80, like I said, you know, hey, I always like it when you get back bonuses for buying emeralds, that's always good, like I said, it's actually in this case just straight emeralds rather than skin stones, so an interesting, but, uh, if you run needed buy emeralds, or you buy some of the bundles that have emeralds during this event, um, spending emeralds up to 100k. That's a lot of emeralds to spend for a three day event, but you do get a frame and you get a whole lot of time skin stones. It's actually quite a bit like, wow. Let's see, 10. So 10k gets you to the 2000. That's a lot of time skin stones. Um, it's quite a bit actually, but it's still 100,000. 100,000 emeralds is a lot. Um, Alan Chess, 150 is a lot for a three-day event, the holy heck. But you do get a lot of tiny skin stones in. You know, it's like you'll get, to, if you open that many Alan Chess, you'll get a lot of skin stones for your heroes, too. So, I mean, that's not necessarily the worst thing, but, uh, this is quite a bit. Um, I don't know, you have to, like I said, it cost you quite, like I said, you know, I mean, if you're trying to get to 100k emeralds, Spent, you know, opening that many outlet chests isn't too bad, but that is quite a few. Um, spending energy. Like I said, you know, if, like I said, if you're spending energy, if you have one up, like I said, you know, with the, I might actually spend it just because we got the champion season coming up and there's actually a theme where you pretty much get a free rarity fair at the end. If you buy the gold ticket, you can, you get a rarity fair at the end, which, so you probably want to get a hero set up like for like. Like I said, I've been working on Nebula, so I'd probably want to set her up to, like, at least get her to, like I said, you want to do, the higher you can do is better, like, so rather than doing, like, we would be a waste just to do for two items, like, if I get her to red, to red one and then have all these open, then I could do that, or better yet, probably get her to red two and then not put any items in these slots, then use the bonus there. Like, so I might actually spend the energy here on this one just to try to get Nebula um, before the end of the month. I'll do another video about the champion season. Um, but that's up now, too. That also started today. Um, but we also got these bundles. So these are skin stones. So it's 15,000. You get 500 of your guildmates plus 6,000 emeralds. And again, these emeralds should get count for the quest to get the bonus emeralds. Uh, 40,000. That's quite a few. Um, not quite double, but you get more than double the emeralds. So this is probably fine. Scaling. Mm -hmm. Three times. Well, it's kettles. Like I said, this is actually a pretty good bundle. This at the top end this time. Pretty good value at the top end this time. Um, I guess you do get fifteen hundred more to your guildmates though. But you're just so much more. So this is actually. So it actually does scale. You actually hire more expense. It actually gives you better value on like some of the previous ones but that's still a lot um 300,000 skins titan skin stones is a lot though that should be more than enough to max out a skin like if you're trying to really quickly max out some titan skins uh this probably uh not too bad um like i said the bundles i don't know if they're really as good as like say buying a 4x but if you go to titans like you can kind of see like to do one level at the top end it's over 5,000 so that's like so 50 so essentially uh 5,400 emeralds is equivalent to 2,000 titan stones 20,000 Titan Stones, which is about 5,400 Emeralds, give or take. You're just kind of estimating here. So that's a lot. So if you think about the value, um, like the Titan Skin Stones just take forever. So, I mean, even if you don't spend a lot, you're going to get more Titan Skin Stones, even if you just do like the easy quest, like if you just do these ones, 
Like I said, 50 is nothing. Like this is super easy. Like you can just do 50 and then boom, you got those quests done. Like most people I think should get that far. Like if you log in every day, you get some skin stones. If you've made any purchases, you have like VIP 7 is pretty low. A barrier um if you're if you've been playing for a few months and you're one of the people who buy just just by buying valkyries every week for a few months will probably get you to vip 7 fairly quickly um so like i said so that one's done so there's like i said several thousand titan skin stones just for opening those so that's a pretty a quick bonus um nothing really for collecting souls hero souls or anything like that so but outland chest, like I said, for that, I just, like I said, you can do the 90s. I didn't save the free ones because I can't. I mean, I'll have it. I I even knew, I even tried to save them, and then I opened them later in the day anyway. Like, it's just so habitual for me. But, uh, like, you can do all these ones, and then if you have a boss to fight, you can then fight it to try to reset it. Like, so I do recommend, like, right, rather than fighting all your bosses as high as you can, like, right, if you have a, some low-level bosses you can beat... Like I said, we're pretty much, I'm past the point where I don't really have easy bosses to be feed anymore. But if you still have, like, low-level bosses to defeat, rather than, rather than just beating it whenever, like, you save them for, like, an outland, and then you can, when you want it, open some extra chest, then reset the chest, because when you beat the boss, it resets it back to the free one, then you can open seven for cheap, and then get to the next one, but... Um, like I said, my bosses are pretty much where I can't beat them right now, or, or I might, I might be able to beat Brog, I haven't tried for a while, but... I don't really want to beat the 160 bosses yet, because then you can't fight any more bosses on them anymore. Unless you're, like, at least I could get to where I'm, like, in the threat range. Because this, I'm still a ways from this. I've tried tried being him, like, a couple events ago. Like, I don't have a lot of the heroes here for this. A lot of the heroes you need for this. My heroes are weak here. They just, I don't really have those heroes yet. So that's why this one, like, I could probably beat this one now. I have, like, lots of uber mages. I could probably beat that one if I wanted to. Um, Spider... Uh, maybe, maybe it's those five, but that'd be the final level on both those. But uh, until I can get the other one up, I just can actually get that skin or this the frame. I'm not gonna, I'm not too worried about it. Um, spending energy, yeah. So we went all through all that, but yeah. Um, I don't know. It's not a bad event, like especially if you're trying to, especially if you're a Titan specialist. I think it's better than some of the Titan events we've had. I mean, I think these are better than the, the skin events. We get so many Titan skin events. That, and those Titan skin events really aren't that great. The water season stuff, like, they're only good for, like, new players. And then they're pretty meh. Whereas this one is, like I said, this is, like, I think going to have more value for longer term for players. Just because Titan skin stones take forever. Like, even if you don't spend a lot, you're going to get some more Titan skin stones than you had have had. So this does help out players. Um, so I just think this could be better for most players in the long term than than the rainy season type events that we get. Um, anyway, I hope you guys found this video fun and informative. Thank you for watching.